Good morning and welcome in this video that is going to be a little bit different because today we're going to take a look at the UTU plugin. The UTU plugin is a plugin that I wrote a long time ago, I'd say maybe four, five, six years, I don't even know. Uh, it's been a long, long time and I just left it in my computer in a corner somewhere. It was just gathering dust. I didn't do anything with it. But now I decided that I wanted to finish all the extra steps that I needed to do to be able to upload it on the internet and make it available for people. And as part of those steps, uh, there's the step of the documenting it and showing people how it works. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just going to go through the whole plugin together from the install process all the way to the end. And then I'm going to show you also some examples so you can decide for yourself if this plugin is good for you. But first, uh, what's the UTU plugin? Well, it's a plugin that lets you import what you did in Unity, but into Unreal instead. So you can take a part of your work that you did in Unity, mainly the art, actually only the art. You can take your scenes that you started working on uh, and you can export them and then being able to re-import them in Unreal. It doesn't support everything, but it supports uh, the scenes, the aesthetic mesh, skeletal mesh, the material, uh, some of the default material in Unity, the textures, the prefab, the lights, and the cameras. So you can take all those elements and import them in Unreal. They are going to be placed exactly at the same place as they were in Unity with the same settings and everything. But obviously it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to rework a few things here and there because both game engines are completely different and it's pretty difficult to find the perfect equivalence between both engines. But I'm pretty sure that if you have to convert some work that you did in Unity and transfer it into Unreal, it's going to save you a bit of time. So that's why today I'm going to show you how the plugin work and then you can decide for yourself if this plugin is good for you. So let's get to it. But first, what is included in the UTU plugin package? So when you download the plugin, this is what you're gonna get. All those folders right here. The first folder is a simple information folder. So in there you can have access to all the informations that are already written on the download page. So you can either read them right here or over there it's going to be the same exact information so it's really just to give you a little bit an easier time to find them if you need so these are the documentation files and then you have the plugin so you have the unity plugin right here and the unreal plugin right here you have to integrate both those plugins into your unity and unreal project if you want to use this utu plugin so first the unity plugin right here you can see that it's just a simple unity plugin it has assets in there and files and scripts and everything so you can just simply drag and drop that into your project and you're going to be able to use the UTU plugin in Unity and then for the Unreal plugin this side is a little bit different because it's already pre-compiled for a few versions of the engine so for 25, 26, 27 and 5.1 I decided to use those versions because these are the versions I tested with but the code should also be compatible with other versions of the engine you just have to compile it and it should work but in today's video we're going to use the version 5.1 because that's the engine I have installed on my computer so in there you can see that I have my UTU plugin and all the files for the U plugin and it's pre-compiled for 5.1 so it's not gonna take too long to compile because it's already done so good okay so these are the two plugins these are the two main folders in there other than that you just have some extra things so you have right here a simple project a simple unity project in there you can see that i don't have much i just have an assets folder and in there i have my utu plugin already integrated and also my utu sample scene so you'll be able to use those scenes to test the plugin right away and make sure that it works at least in the sample project before trying to test it in your project if you want to so this is my unity sample project and I have the same thing for my Unreal Sample project. So in there, it's a super basic project. I don't have anything in there, but I have my UTU plugin already integrated. That's it. Okay, now back in the package, we have one last thing, and it is the sample scenes that we already integrated in the sample project, but it's also right here. So if you want to integrate that into your project, you can easily do it. So I have my sample scenes, and it's just two sample scenes that I use to debug and test my plugin. So I have two little world, I have a cube world, a forest world. You can reuse the assets in there if you want to, but the main use of those scenes is really just to test the plugin and make sure that it works properly and give you an example on how to use the plugin. Perfect. So good. That's the content of the UTU plugin package. You're going to receive everything uh, in there when you download the plugin. But now it's time to show you how to install it in your project. So let's jump into the installation process. So to install the plugin in your project, it's actually super simple. So here you can see on the left that I have my plugin package right here. And on the right, we have a Unity project and also a non-real project. We're going to integrate integrate the plugin into both the Unity project and the Unreal project right now. So let's do that. Let's start with the Unity project. So in the assets folder, we have to integrate the plugin. So I'm going to go in my Unity plugin folder right here. I'm going to take the YouTube plugin and drop it inside the Unity assets folder. Here we go. That's it. The plugin is integrated. The second thing I want to add 
what is this simple scene so we can test the plugin together so i'm gonna go in my unity sample scenes folder right here i'm going to take my utu sample scenes and drop them into my unity project assets folder here we go that's it now my unity project has the utu plugin and also the sample scenes and it's ready to be used good now we have to integrate the plugin in the unreal project and for that one it's a little bit more complicated so if you go in the package you can see that in the unreal plugin you can decide which version you want to use and in my case i'm going to decide okay i want to use the version 5.1 so let's open that folder and now we have to drag and drop this plugin inside the plugins folder in the unreal project which i don't have right now so i'm going to have to create it myself so new folder i'm going to name it the plugins and inside that folder now we can integrate the plugin so let's open the plugins folder grab the utu plugin and drop it inside the unreal plugins folder here we go so now the plugin is integrated in both the unity project and the unreal project and now it's time to jump in both game engines to test the plugin Okay, so we are in the Unity project in which I integrated the UTU plugin. But before taking a look at the plugin, we're going to take a look at the sample scenes that we're going to export to Unreal, uh, just so we have an idea of what we are trying to export and import. But first here, I just saw that Unity created a sample scene for me. So just an empty scene with the camera and light. So I'm just going to take that into the export process. So I'm just going to add a few elements in there to make sure that it works. Uh, so I can add a sphere right here. I can make it uh, probably bigger so i have a, a long sphere can i make it taller yeah here we go i have a disc then i can like uh, duplicate that one maybe move it right here give it a little bit of a rotation right here maybe um why not adding another element uh, can i add uh, do, 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 a capsule why not so i'm going to add a capsule i'm going to move it up a little bit uh, right here something like that okay so we're also going to export that into unreal to see if the process works with the random scene that we just made so good let's save that okay so that was a sample scene provided by Unity, so that's good, that's nice. And now we're going to take a look at the sample scenes provided by the UTU plugin. So let's go in there, and in there you can see that I have two sample scenes. I have Cube World, here it is. And that one, I mainly used it to test the lighting. So I have a few lights here and there. So I have a green light, red light, yellow light, a blue light. I have another blue light. And under there, I have a purple light. So you can see how the lighting reacts in Unreal. It's a little bit different than in Unity. Uh, it's even worse in Unreal 5. In Unreal 4, it's pretty good, I'd say. But in Unreal 5, it's completely different. Uh, not completely, but you'll see. You'll see. It's a little bit different. But yeah, here you have a, a little bit of a ground, a few trees, a few clouds to test the translucency of the shaders and everything so yeah this is my first uh, sample scene it's pretty ugly but at least it tests a few things and then we have a more normal scene uh, we have trees we have a bit of environment we have a ground we have a few houses here and there so i'm using a bunch of different prefabs that one is a big prefab that one too this one also uh, i have trees different trees i have bridges and everything i have a bit of transparency in the foliage uh, in the trees in the grass and everything so yeah it tests a good amount of elements also so yeah these are two good sample scenes that we're using to test the plugin and if you take a look at the content browser it's really important also because it's going to recreate the same exact hierarchy in unreal so you can see that i have my shaders here i have my meshes that are used in my cube world my cube itself my textures and then same thing for the forest wall so i have my foliage here in there i am i have the grass assets I have my rocks, I have my trees, I have my structures that are used in the project, and also my big terrain. So this big old hierarchy is going to be recreated in Unreal exactly the same as it is in Unity. That's one of the main features of the plugin. So good. Now we're ready to take a look at the plugin itself. And you can access the plugin by going right here at the top in the plugins category and open the UTU plugin right here. Here we go. It opens a window for you. In there, it's super simple. You don't have much to do. You just have to select which assets you want to export, uh, which Scenes. So I have my sample scene provided by Unity and my two sample scenes right here. You can decide to check only one if you want, or you can check all of them uh, the way I'm doing it. And then you can simply click on export scene. But before doing that, to be able to recognize my export, I'm just going to name it. Uh, I can search for a good name, maybe a uh, weekly export. Uh, that's a nice one. So we're going to create a weekly export. Uh, perfect. So now I can click on export scene and it should not take too, too long because my scenes in Unity are pretty small and it's super quick to export. And as you can see, it's over 
already, but if you have bigger scenes in your project, I recommend to do only one scene at a time because there's a lot of references in there. It can take a while to export and way longer to import. So I probably recommend to just export one scene at a time if you have big scenes, but if you have super basic scenes like mine, it doesn't really matter because they are super small. So anyway, the export is done and now the export completed. No warning, no errors because I already tested the scenes a bunch of times so I know what are the errors and I fixed them all. So that's pretty good. And you can see all the information that you need in the log right here. So you can just scroll and see all the assets that were processed, all the scene, all the texture, FBX, material, everything that you need to know in there. And then that's about it. These are the two main tabs of the plugin. Then you have the information tab which contains the same exact information as I have in my information folder and also on the download page. So good. I think that covers everything that we had to see in Unity. Now we can jump in Unreal because if you take a look at the steps here, you can see that we already did the first batch of steps. We pressed the export button and now it's time to jump in Unreal because the export is done. So let's go in Unreal. And now we are in Unreal in the empty project in which we integrated the UTU plugin. So here it is. And we can see that my content browser is completely empty and I'm in a completely empty level. So good. Now everything's fresh and it's ready to import all the scenes that are coming from the Unity. You can import them into your own project. Don't be scared about that. You can do it. I just recommend to back up your project first to make sure that you don't lose any work even though I never lost any work using that plugin. So it's just a warning but don't worry too much about it. Just make sure that you don't lose anything and just use the scott roll anyway. It's just a better way to work. Anyway, to open the plugin, the button is right here. The UTU plugin button. Here we go. It opens the same window that you see in Unity but it's in Unreal this time and it's a little bit different. Here you can see all the different exports that are already exported from Unity and they are ready to be imported in Unreal. You can select which one you want to use. In our case, we're going to use the weekly export, which is the new export we just created uh, five seconds ago. So we're going to export that one. So that's the date, that's the name, everything. If you move your mouse over all the different elements that are in the export, you can see a preview of what is going to be processed. So all the materials, all the textures, all the FBXs and everything. You can even decide to not process some of those assets, but I do not recommend to do that really uh, it's better to do the whole process uh, except if you're just trying to let's say import a texture for a quick test uh, you can just import the textures but i strongly recommend to always check those uh, checkbox uh, unless you're debugging something so yeah pretty simple you just have to select your export and click on the import the selected button but before I do that i'm just gonna go through the whole interface so here you have a button to open the export folder in your windows explorer if you want to you can delete the exports uh, that is selected so that one let's say i can delete it if i click on the button here we go the export is deleted and I can refresh the list in the case that you exported a new scene from Unity and the list didn't refresh automatically. You can click on that button to refresh the list. And then there's a checkbox right here to delete the invalid asset. So if you're trying to create an asset on top of another one that has the same name but is a different class, so let's say you're trying to create a texture on top of a material, it's going to delete that material. If the checkbox is checked, it's going to delete the material. Otherwise, it's just going to tell you a warning. Hey, you're trying to override an asset that doesn't make sense. So you can either decide to let the process delete it automatically or uncheck that checkbox and do it yourself later and then redo the process if you want to. And finally, you have another checkbox to prompt to save all after the process is done. That's just straightforward. It just opens the window in the case that you want to open the window. So yeah, as simple as that. So good. I'm just going to select my export and click on the import selected button. And that's going to take a while. Uh, the import process is way longer than the export process, as I said, because it has to process all the assets and the progress bar is really nice. It's going to show you the progress of the process and it's also going to change color. If there's an error or a warning, this progress bar is going to change color and you're going to know it right away. But in our case, now we're just going to wait for it to be over. So I guess let's just wait. Okay, so the export is completed. Now we're going to take a look at what it did. Uh, you can see in the log all the information that you need to know. Uh, it's right here, but you can also see it in the log tab that you have right here. You can see that you can scroll and see what was imported, all the assets, all the static mesh, all the FBX and everything. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you can see that there's a log limit. And that's just because it takes forever to generate that log right here. So you can change that limit right here. You can make it uh, smaller if you want. So 500 and refresh the log, it's going to be shorter. Or if you make 5,000, it's going to be longer and it's going to take longer to generate. But in any case, you can always click on the copy log to clipboard. It's going to copy the whole log, not only what's displayed right here. And you can paste it in any text editing app that you want. So you can read the log somewhere else if you want to. 
And the final tab that you have is the information tab. So the same tab as you have in Unity and also on the product page before downloading it. Perfect. So now I can close this window because we're done with the import. And now it's time to take a look at the different scenes that we just imported. So here we created the same hierarchy that we have in Unity. So I have my scenes folder with the sample scene that was created by Unity. So I can open that one to see if it worked. It should have two spheres in there. And yeah, I have my two sphere, one sphere, one sphere. The lighting's about the same. Where's the capsule? Oh, the capsule is right here. So yeah, it seemed to work. I have my two sphere, my two disks, and I have my capsule. So the import seemed to work with the random scene. So good. Thanks, Unity, for that example. Now I'm going to go in my real scene. So I have my cube world right here. You can see that I have different light colors and everything. The lighting is a little bit different because Unreal, well, it's different than Unity. So obviously the lighting is going to be different by default, but you can tweak a few things. Actually, it's not that far off. And it was pretty accurate in Unreal 4.27, 4.25. Uh, in Unreal 4, it was pretty accurate. In Unreal 5, it's a little bit different because they changed a few things and I didn't spend too, too much time trying to find the equivalent. But at least it's good enough, I think. And I think it's mainly caused by the bloom and the auto exposure. So you can probably just tweak those two settings and you can find what you want. But the goal wasn't to have it perfect because it's not really possible to find the perfect equivalence between Unreal and Unity. Instead, you just have a good base to start from and then you can tweak it to make it as good as you want based on the visual that you want to achieve. So this is my cube world, it's pretty basic. And then my forest world that I have right here, if I open it, we can see that it's probably a little bit more interesting. Yes, here we go. I have all my different trees and my little houses here and there. And you can see that it seems to work. Everything's there, the lighting's about the same. Yeah, it's pretty good. And all the transparencies and shaders are also pretty good oh there's a little bit of a glitch here but that's just a five unreal five glitch it wasn't there in unreal four it's just a new thing with transparency object it, it's a little bit unstable in my opinion but yeah so that's the result in unreal five but that's not my code that's really just the render engine in unreal so that's not my problem i'm just gonna ignore that for now but yeah, all the other objects are pretty good and you can see that the import seem to have worked perfectly fine. My scene is reorganized the same exact way it was organized in Unity and we're going to take a look at the project structure to make sure that it's also the same because that's one of the plugins features. So here I can see that I have my cube world, I have the materials that are in my cube world right here, I have my meshes, prefabs, texture, and then my forest world, I have my grass, my different materials, my texture, a few rocks, uh, my materials for my rocks, my rocks themselves, a few trees, a few prefabs, and then I have my material, meshes, texture, and I have my little houses, material, all the meshes, the texture, and everything that is used in my scene. And actually, let's take a look at the prefab to see how it looks when you uh, go inside the blueprint, uh, which is the prefab in Unreal. So here it is, that's how it looks like. And it's the same thing as we have in Unity. The prefab is built the exact same way. So it's all separated into pieces that you can move around because that's the way I built it in Unity. So I can just uh, destroy my object just like that because that's what I did in Unity. I just built it directly in Unity in the prefab. So that's why right here in Unreal, I can move the objects around and do whatever I want with it because it's a prefab. And if I save that prefab, now if I go in my level, you can see that the prefab gets updated and the house is a little bit different in the level. And yeah, it was better before, but whatever, that's just a test. Anyway, so that's about it for the plugin. Uh, you can see that it works. It's not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. It's just meant to save you a lot of time when you try to convert your project into Unreal. Uh, and that's about it. I'm going to show you a few more examples at the end of the video, just to give you a better idea if the plugin is good for your needs so you can just take a look at the example and see if it's going to work for your project but yeah that's gonna be it for today if you have any question let me know and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye